Now, I'm willing to bet that a lot of you are thinking right now that this theory is inaccurate because it makes no sense for Nintendo to be developing the Switch 2, the Switch 1.5, the Switch Pro, whatever you want to call it, this early on. I mean, the Switch hasn't even been out for a year yet. Why at all would Nintendo be working on a Switch Pro? And I can't really blame you for thinking that. But hear me out, because this is a theory and it could be wrong. But my theory does make sense, and if you don't agree with it, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments. Alright, so I'm just not going to waste any more time, let's get into my theory. So like you probably guessed, my theory is based on the idea of a Switch Pro, or like a Switch 1.5, which is basically the idea that Nintendo is working on a mid-cycle refresh for the Nintendo Switch, which if you don't know what that is, basically it's going to be something like the Xbox One S or Xbox One X, or the PS4 Pro, it's just going to be the Nintendo Switch, but more powerful. And there's a lot of different possible theories that people have come up with, but there's a lot of theories that I have made, and I think that this one is the most accurate. So what is my theory? Well, I believe that Nintendo is working on a Switch Pro simply because the pressure from developers and the pressure from the community to have a more powerful console is pushing them towards making it. Now you're probably saying, well, the Wii and the Wii U were both underpowered, and you might slip and say, and they got support from the developers in the community, and, well, that's not really true, because the Wii U, I don't even have to get into that, the Wii U did not do well at all, and the Wii mainly just had shovelware from developers, and actually a lot of people in the community didn't play it. Now, what does that have to do with the Switch being powerful? Well, if the Switch, or let's just actually go back, if the Wii was as powerful as the Xbox 360 and the PS3, then developers could release their games, like full-fledged games, like Skyrim, that's just a random game I listed off the top of my head, for the Wii. And that's a big reason to pick up the Wii for a lot of people, but... Because the Wii wasn't powerful enough, people, like developers, could not port over those games. So, basically what that caused was diehard gamers who bought the Wii were disappointed because they couldn't find a diverse game lineup. And the Wii U, which I really don't want to get into the Wii U because it's been beaten to death so many times, but to put it simply, developers had a hard time of getting their games on the Wii U. Why? because it wasn't as powerful. They could still do it, but they didn't really have a reason to, and that led into another problem. The Wii U's install base was not big enough, and because of that, developers were like, why should we make a game for this console when we can make it for a console that have way, way bigger install bases and way more power? So, in the end, there, there was no real reason for developers to make games for the Wii U. And here we are with the Switch. It's not as powerful as the Xbox One or the PS4, and you may be thinking that's not a huge deal. But Nintendo has most likely learned the biggest lesson from the Wii U, and that is that you need to have developers on your console. And I'm betting that developers are probably urging Nintendo to release a more powerful version of the Switch, because it would benefit them more because they wouldn't have to tone down their games. I mean, Doom, okay, Doom is a great port on the Switch, I love it, but the problem with that is that it doesn't really run that well in docked mode. If the Nintendo Switch had more power, then the Switch version of Doom could run way, way better in docked mode. Yes, it can run. But my point is, is that in a couple years, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm trying to make it clear because I'm not really explaining this well, developers will have a hard time cramming their games onto the Switch, which in a few years, who knows what games are going to be available, and the Switch might not be able to handle it. So if Nintendo releases a Switch Pro, that will hopefully fix all the issues. And that's why I think my theory is accurate, because... The Nintendo Switch is a great console, but I feel like Nintendo has learned their lesson from the Wii U, and they know that they need to have developers, and if developers are urging them to create a more powerful console, then they're probably creating a more powerful console. 
Now, if Nintendo is actually working on a Switch Pro or a Switch 1.5 or Switch 2, I think it's just going to be something like an upgraded dock, or maybe it might actually be a whole new Switch console that just goes in the original dock, or maybe comes with a new dock, and it just runs the same OS, and it's kind of sort of a Switch 1.5. And I think that's probably what Nintendo's doing, but I don't work at Nintendo. For all I know, they could be working on this box that attaches to the dock that makes it more powerful, but it's a whole thing, and my theory... I don't know, I have a feeling that this is what Nintendo is doing. But that's just my opinion. If you have your own thoughts, let me know them in the comments. If this video seems sort of lesser quality than my other videos, it's probably because this is more of an experiment. I'm just trying out different types of content, and I want to see what you guys think of that, so I really would appreciate it if you left your thoughts on this video in the comments. I hope you did enjoy this video, and see you.